And there was a quote, which I'm always interested, was that you that said this or was it someone else? And I think it would be a nice start. And that quote was, I'm a billionaire, but I'm not a big spender. No, the, the second part of it was my was mine, right. where I said, I'm not a big spender. Yeah. The first part was um, added by the newspaper. Right. And um, so the I nearly said, I'm not a big spender. Right. Nearly. Yeah, that's all I said. I'm yeah. not a big spender. I didn't say, I'm a billionaire. Yeah. And um, that with, would be a dick thing to say. Would it? Yeah. But even if you are one, it's a dick thing to say. In my opinion, it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was in um, one of the big newspapers in the UK because I crashed my Ferrari into News International building and they came over and they interviewed me. Um, and uh, the headline was, um, I've written off my Ferrari, but it's okay because my other car is a Porsche, which made me look like a dick. But I didn't say that. They just asked me what cars I had. And then they manoeuvred it. Yeah. In, so is, yeah. Is, that, is that what they did there then? Well, no, the, I, I was just surprised when I saw it because... I just said I'm not a big spender because I don't I don't have a huge appetite. I mean, you crash your Ferrari. I don't even have a car, so I have no car. <laughs> I'm gonna sell on my cars now. I, have, <laughs> I, have I don't even have a car, so it, it, I'm just not a big. I'm just not a big. I mean, I don't look like a popper, but I'm just. It's not a big part of my but my life. But with someone with you know so much money, why not? Because there's so many, many other interesting things to do with your money, rather than buy stuff that you have to pack and move when you move. You have to worry about someone stealing it. You insure have to, it. You have to insure it. it. You have to worry about, you know, who's going to smash the Ferrari into it. You yeah. have to worry about who's going to spill something on it. And you just, it just, just a bunch of stuff. Mm. Then you have to worry about who you're going to give it to. Mm -hmm. And then what, you got to find something else of equal value to give someone else. So yeah. You, Everybody thinks you love them the same. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to worry about. Yeah, people don't see those downsides when they covet them, do they? Well, people want stuff because they want you to believe that they're rich and they assume that when you believe that they're rich that you'll believe that they're smart and powerful and handsome, right? But that's not necessarily... I feel like I have to go and sell all my nice clothes and cars <laughs> and everything now. <laughs> um, so what you said, there's better things to do with your money than spend it on stuff. So, I what's, think so what's that? Well, you could use your money to you start a business. You could use your money to grow a business. You could use your money to um, uh, help a charity get started. You could use your money to help someone else start a business. You could use your money to help someone buy a house. You could use your money to buy some land and give it to conservation. And maybe you could, you could, if it, let's just say as an example, so, so I, I bought a house one time on the ocean and I bought all the land to the left and the right of it. Then I gave it to conservation. So, um, the neighborhood has open space. So that's good for the neighborhood. I have open space. So I'm happy with that. Uh, the birds have open space, so they're happy with that. So everybody wins. Could but you I, do that and buy stuff? You could, but we're, we're, I don't need that much stuff. No. You know? Yeah, I'm fascinated by that, because I, I, I do. Would, I would, yeah, you need a lot, you won't. Soon enough you won't. No? No. Well, get, when it's all too heavy and well, laden and baggage. Well, because well, you'll keep on smashing it up. Yeah, yeah, I do. Bored, you'll get bored with that. Yeah. Then you'll want less stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's certain things that, that there's certain things that are nice to have. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I have, I have a house in the country, and I like to be in the country, and I have a house on the beach, on the water, so I like that. Mm. So I'm going to have a couple of things. Yeah. And place here in London? There's a place in the city as well, yeah. In yeah. London, yeah. Which won't be cheap. Yeah, it won't be cheap. Yeah. But I don't collect a lot of stuff. No. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm fascinated by what a billionaire would know that a millionaire doesn't. And obviously, you can make that mean whatever you want. But you're at a level which a lot of people are never going to understand in their life of scale, success, wealth, etc. You know, what do you now know that you didn't 20 or 30 years ago, maybe when you were more new money or you just got successful? What do you know now that mere mortals well, don't? Well, there's a lot of stuff I know now that I didn't know before, but my attitude towards money and wealth, I don't think has changed at all. Um, but I mean, I, look, I know a lot now that I don't know. Mm. So about, I mean, about life and about business and about 
relationships and about uh, what I want to accomplish in the rest of my life and what I don't want to waste my time on. Mm. I mean, the, the, the biggest thing that I've learned in my, probably in my business career is that I'm always relearning, by the way, because it's the hardest thing to learn, uh, is just to say no more often. That's the hardest thing to learn. For me, personally. Yeah. The single hardest thing to learn is to say no. Well, I'm glad you said no to all the other podcasts, but not this one. Yeah, but you've done very, very well in your podcast. Thank you. I'm, I'm impressed because most podcasts, no one listens to them. Mm. You know, people have them because they want to have them, but not many people listen to them and they're not very well done. Yeah. Yours is well done and you have, you have good, interesting people and you have good um, listenership and viewership.